Come join us, dinky do TikTokers. Hope you're with us and that you are well. How fabulous is that? Hello, fellow numpty heads, Professor Numpty Head. Because of all your shouting and bawling this morning, I have spent the afternoon doing tests, so hopefully we can get on. Lovely to hear you're feeling better, Scott. Thanks, Negan. Uh, you know me, I would never take an evening off unless it was just totally unavoidable. Uh, we had a wee problem about, was it two years ago now? Or was it one year? We just had a bit of a a bit of a collapse, <laughs> uh, a bit of a health collapse. I love you, Scotty McClue. Thank you, number one fan. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I say. Thoughts on Nicola leaving, says Bex. Uh, so there we are. Yes, that was a bit of a strange one. That took most of us by surprise. Although I, I did think not long before she went, is she going to be able to do anything about independence after the court ruling? You know, do we have to take another route to prize Scotland away from the dreadful, dreadful, dreadful um, ball and chain that is Westminster, taking all our money from us? There we have it, you know. What would be quite good is to say to maybe whoever is the leader at the time, you never know with the Tories, and uh, to say, look, um, we're not going to go for full independence, but we'd like to keep all of our income. There we are. Hi, Scotty from Rochdale. Scotty, do you own any bullion? Uh, any bullion? If you're talking about, what are you talking about in terms of bullion? You see all the bullion I've got behind me. That's it. <laughs> so there we are. Yes, a bit of gold would be nice, wouldn't it? There, that seems to be the fashion these days. A bit of gold and silver. But remember, the last mob, I think it was the Labour mob, they took all our gold off us. Precious metal. No, I deal in precious people, i.e. you lot. Uh, Who would you like to see as the new SNP leader? Well, I'm not really a politician or I would ever go at it myself, James. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a tricky one. I was wondering if they should offer it to Alex Salmond you know, and see what was going on here. Look at this shit here. Oh, what a life. Would you look at this shit? Now then, hello, Susan, how are we? Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty, can you Susan? There we go. We like to have everybody with us tonight. Uh, I see, I see, says Tom. Yes, I'm just thinking about that. I think it would be a nice touch. That they were, if he would want it, you know, because, I mean, he's been away for a, a while now. Um, I see Red Dwarf isn't coming back as a piece of television or whatever. Uh, I'm good. Yes, I did. Uh, what, says Scott McLean, number one fan. So there we have it. Um, well, I'm just saying. Uh, I used to graft the scrap, Scotty. Good money. Oh, GRB. You are talking a very sensible person. I have a very dear friend. I haven't seen him for some time. And uh, he's uh, a scrap man. What a lovely, lovely guy. What a clever, clever man. So there you have it. Um, right, get everybody sharing. Hello, mister. Hi, Jeff. How are we getting on tonight? Dinky do, I say. Follow Scotty McClue as soon as you come on. So um, do we think independence? What is the road to independence now, guys. What would you say? I want your input. I want your wisdom on this. I'll tell you, I, I had a great chat this week to an old colleague of mine, a man called Adrian Allen. So uh, you can look him up on YouTube. And uh, he was uh, very kindly singing my praises the other night, saying that I am Mr. Number One phone in. But he's a Mr. Number One phone in. So have a look on the YouTube at Adrian Allen. So there we go. Um, I'd say that. Hello, Mr. Strolling. How are we? Uh, true, my friend. Say hello to my dad, Scotty. Big Sam in Bottom Bank. Big Sam in Bottom Bank. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Lovely to have you with us. I used to listen to you when I was away on the radio every night. We didn't have many wins on the radio. Uh, are you English? No, I'm Scottish. Can you not tell by my voice? Uh, are the phones on? The phones are on. So if I were you, I would ring right now, and we'll see if we can get you on.
uh, get independence and negotiate the EU common market. I think that's right. God save the Queen, says Jennyman. Well, it's actually God save the Queen and the King as well. So it would be God save the King would be the national anthem. Who is this? Hello, you're live in Scottish for in. Who's that? Thank you, Scottish Queen. Oh, how, are we how are you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Not too bad. More importantly, how are you? Well, no, I'm fine, Kareem. I just... Occasionally, you ask yourself the question, come on, you can go on and have a chat. And I thought, no, I had no voice. So it would yeah. have just been hopeless. And my face yeah. was on fire and my head was on fire with it. You know, that kind of very nippy behind the nose. Mm -hmm. So I thought, no, there's no point. No, no, it's not. No, it's just a cold. Do you know what I mean? It was just a wee cold. Yeah. 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 But you sound a lot better. I've seen some of your videos and your voice really sounded really hoarse, so it's good that you're on the mend. Yes, it was sounding a bit rough, a bit uh, a bit whispery, but it's hopefully yeah. sounding a little bit better tonight. Yes, yes, you certainly sound that. Excellent. Absolutely. And we've got Catchpool asking, do Scottish people like the English? Scottish people don't just like the English, they love the English. <laughs> but we don't like being ruled from Westminster because of their ignorance about Scotland. Correct. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that's what it is. It is really just ignorance, you know. I mean, to come out with stuff like you've had your chance and you all decided to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, let's yeah. sober up. Now, Karim, it's been a yes. bit of a momentous week for the National Party, the yes. Scottish National Party. So what are you thinking about things? What's your view on it? Well, it's going to go two ways, Scotty. Um, I think it, this can, if the, it's in the, the Scottish Constitution, the, the, I've forgotten the Act, sorry, there's just so much in my head. Uh, basically, there is the Act that if you cannot have a leader within 28 days, it will trigger a Scottish election. Right. Therefore, if there is a Scottish election and the majority of yes MSPs have been elected in, then that would be counted as a yes vote for independence and negotiations could start. If Westminster still refuse, then the United Nations can be brought in. Right, Very right. Simple. Very interesting, yes, absolutely. Because, of course, we yeah. should never really have been in that in the first place. That was all manipulation. Yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, we have to wait and see what happens if they are in the 28 days or not. The, I think it gets harder if we get a new leader voted in and they don't go down that road and then they wait to the general election. The country can't wait. But Scotland cannot wait until the general election. And we do know that the, the Labour are going to have a massive landslide victory like they did with Tony Blair. But like when Labour got in, Scotty, you'll know from your uh, younger days, if you don't let me say, Labour are not the party of what they used to be, especially when Tony Blair got into well, power. Well, I remember driving back from Sheffield to Edinburgh on mm. the uh, dawning of the 1st of May, was it 1997? Yeah. And um, as, I, as I drove back, uh, I saw that John Major was being kind of given the cold shoulder and Tony Blair was going heading to the palace to meet the Queen. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. thought to myself, the game's up. Because mm -hmm. Tony Blair, I mean, Tony Blair's a very smart guy. Let's not kid ourselves. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, he knew that Labour were unelectable. This country doesn't like Labour governments. It never has. And mm -hmm. uh, he knew that he had to have a fairly right of centre version of Labour mm -hmm. and call old mm -hmm. Labour new Labour. Mm -hmm. And that's why him and Brown sort of didn't really see eye to eye because Brown was an old Labour guy. Yeah. 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 And, and John Smith, remember John Smith had just died. And, yes, yes. And yes. Blair, got, uh, Blair got parachuted in there. Yeah. Otherwise, it might have been a different story. Yeah. Well, I think with Keir Starmer, he's going to be pushing that Labour Party more to the right and I think a lot of people will see that so I like it or lump it we're not going to see much of a difference you know when it comes January 24 
then your right to protest will be thrown out the window. Your right to strike, which is a basic human right to get better wages, to improve your, your living conditions, that's going to be made illegal. You know, and don't catch yourselves because Labour, although may be the party of the unions, they are not going to be changing all that. No. They can't change that because the, the right wing media, as you know, will start to hound Labour if they start moving towards the left. And the establishment, the people, the powers that be, does not want the country to go down that road. If you look at Jeremy Corbyn, he was a, a traditional Labour man, and the powers that be did not want him in power. Well, for no, they absolutely years. smashed him out the road, the media, because he was very close to being elected, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I mean, Je Jeremy Corbyn was very close to being in power. Now, I'm no lefty, as you know, but, yeah. um, you know, I mean, he, he would certainly have shaken things up in a much healthier way than we did with, uh, you know, the, the, the shower that we got in. There's uh, four documentaries on YouTube called The Labour Files, and it was made by Al Jazeera, and it's, uh, I haven't watched all of them, and I've watched snippets of some, but it shows you Jeremy Corbyn's vision of, of the UK, and pretty much his vision is a lot of the things that the SNP have done with a socialist point of view, mm -hmm. you know, getting good health care and renewable energies and a greener United Kingdom, all these kind of things, whereas that's not what England wants, you know, or not, maybe not the English people, but the establishment, the powers that be that are down there, you know, they are trying to, parts of the NHS is privatised, they're talking about people down south now having to pay in time £60 to see the doctor. That's the slippery slope, Kareem. Very, you know, very. you can manipulate anything, uh, you yes. know, but that's not what we're about. Do you well, know, that's, that's not what we're about. This country has always, to some extent, paid lip service to the people. And if they remove that lip service, they never mind the people. We're in it to see what we can grab here and divvy yeah. up with our pals. That's mm -hmm. not just going to go down very well at all. Well, if you look at Scottish Labour, they have three first ministers of Labour, of Labour uh, MSPs, and what they were doing was taken away from that. If you think about it, Labour was the party that introduced tuition fees, disability assessments, the tolls to cross the bridges to pay money. Um, you know, there's quite a few other things that didn't slip my head just now. So for being the party of the working man, they certainly, you know, knew how to tax the working man. You know, they were doing things that you would expect from uh, the, the Tories. But as I said, Labour were going down that road to pay for the prescriptions here. You know, this is introduced and people forget that. Yeah, and I think that's why Labour got, got chucked out of Scotland because they were moving it more and more to the middle like they were down south. And the people up here like, no. See if Labour, if Scottish Labour had wanted a landslide, then they, they should have phoned Westminster and said, sorry boys, but you're on your own with this. We are going with independence. Mm -hmm. And they would uh, have been the party in power. 40% of the Labour supporters in Scotland support independence. Well, but that 40% gets neglected or they don't even talk about because that's not Labour's view. You know, um, who's a, well, the leader of the Labour Party supported his own country's independence but refuses Scotland to even get a second referendum or to gain access to independence. It's very hypocritical, you know, and it's, yes. it's, it's a sad affair now. And when we move forward, the UK just now, is it the G7, whatever it is, we, are, our economy's gone backwards, so the rest are, are improved. Yeah. You know, we might not have been in a, a big recession, but, and, you know, and here's the challenge before I go, Scott, and I've said this to you a few times in the past, right? In April, just now, this cost of living crisis, people have suffered greatly throughout winter, and a lot of people have. Yes. But if your gas and electricity bill in April is going to be going up £700 additional for that month, the £66 for six months is going out the window. 
window. They're not going to get that anymore. Yeah. So although they say it's going up to a certain percentage, it's going up even more. Your TV, uh, your gas, sorry, your, your broadband is going up. Your mobile phone contracts is going up. Petrol is going up. Food is going up. Clothing is going up. Can you see a pattern here? Like, how are we better together? Scotland produces more than enough renewable energy. We but we're not, we're not better. Enough. We've never, ever been better together. The better together is coming from Westminster. Scotland has never, ever been better together in the Union. And, and, and dare I say this, I think the ruling of the Supreme Court recently has just shown that Scotland is a colony, uh, a colony sorry. Uh, it's, it's not being allowed to make its own decisions and it's the, 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 the government and the Scottish Parliament are being treated just like a little assembly. They've got a wee budget, there you go, go and deal with that. The budget has been reduced as well. It's not went up with inflation. We've got people striking and so rightfully so to get a better quality of living. But when the budget is getting reduced and reduced, you know, people are more fighting that they want more and more. Now, again, you've got people still complaining about all oh, the potholes or the bins. Well, again, your council tax authority will be going up probably no more than 5%. Mm -hmm. But ask people out there that are listening, you ask yourself down south in England, we're still going to be cheaper than what they are down in England. Oh, yes. But let's give Croydon an example, which you know, Croydon, they're talking about putting theirs up at 15%, which is a total council that have went bankrupt. There's so many councils down south that are bankrupt. Mm -hmm. But yet again, people up here take so much for granted with the things that are being mitigated. You know, we'd be so much worse off if the essay did not mitigate a lot of the things that we've been doing. And God help us. Absolutely. If we getting up here. And that, I think, is Nicola Sturgeon's legacy. So it's actually, right. it's actually a very good legacy. I think the next leader is going to be Angus Robertson, and I think the deputy is going to be Kate Forbes. I think they're going to be a fantastic. Uh, I think they'll work very well together, and I do think in the future, you know, if we do get the independence and it comes, they're going to have the negotiations, and then you're going to have some of these excellent MPs down south, which by the way, Scotty, you'll probably have heard that the SNP at Westminster are set to become the actual opposition uh -huh. to Labour because yes. the Tories are coming in first yes. place. Well, they'd better come to me for advice on the media, that's all <laughs> I can say. Lovely talking to you. Thanks, Scotty. Thank you very much if you're on better. Bless you, la. There we are. That's our Kareem. Now, guys, very, very interesting stuff tonight. Uh, I think Scotty will understand and appreciate that, the JBR. Brexit, waters, sorry. Unionists will forgive anything for that flag. Brexit, wars, fraud, unregulated greed. There we are. Why is he whistling or is it just me? I think it's just you. Uh, always is the us and them thought process. Whatever happened to sticking together? Well, you see, we used to elect politicians and they did their stuff to serve the public. Now we don't have servants. We've got masters in there. There we are. He's blowing his trumpet, says GRB. Uh, get them told, sir. <coughs> You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello? Nobody there. All right. I hear a lot on that topic uh, with Jeremy Clarkson and his farm. Ah, Jeremy Clarkson. I think he's an amazing guy, actually. There we are. Uh, come and join us as soon as you can and get following guys. Very, very important. <coughs> uh, You're live with Scottish Funny, and who's that? Hi, Scott, this is John. Hello, John, how are you, sir? I've just got something to tell you. Uh, on the YouTube, we can't hear the, uh, the phone calls. Yes, now we had that this morning, John, and I don't know what it is, whether it's something to do with the YouTube, because you can hear them on the TikTok, apparently. Mm, I think you should just try and close the line and open them or stop in the stream and start on that again. Or well, well we, we tried it this morning, and I don't know what on earth more I can do, um, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, I can understand. But maybe if I look it up on Google or something, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a very technical man. Technical man, right. So 
No, no phone calls, Ryan, but you can hear me. Yeah, we, we can hear you, but we can hear, uh, we can hear Kareem and such. Right. John, that is very kind of you. Thank you for that. I thought I'd right, managed to you. sort it. Yeah, I think you do. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Jula. Now, that's our John, uh, just letting us know we can't hear the callers. Anybody got any bright ideas about that? Because... Um, I'll have another look and see what we can do about it. Susan has sent me three pounds. There we are. What's Kareem saying? I can't hear him, says Neil. Uh, TikTok can hear the call. Thank you, Susan. The wonderful Susan. Scotty, you need to fix the phones. We can't hear Kareem. Does anybody know how to fix the phones on the YouTube? I'm just having a look at everything, and it seems to be fine here. Uh, Baznaz says yes, so there you are. So you can hear us, Baznaz. Uh, we'll see what's what. Uh, I'm just having a look, guys, to see if there's anything here at all we could be looking at for the YouTube. Everything seems to be fine elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Just a wee second. Ah, I'm just getting on. I'm looking at some stuff here. I will see what's what. See if I can find out if there's anything I can do, guys. I will do for you. I can assure you. I can assure you of that. Um, 21, 8, 18, 2. That's all right. 18, 2. That makes sense. And uh, the devices. Let's just check the devices, guys. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, we've got that, so that should be fine. That's the audio. Mm hmm No, everything seems to be fine, guys. So I really don't know what else I can do. Let's see, there's some options there. Nope, nothing there. All right, let me just check this, guys. Just sticking with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should be able to hear it. If you can hear me, but I don't understand why we can't hear the calls. So I shall look into that as well. Ah, all right, let's look into this as well. Mm -hmm. Just bear with me, guys. We will do this. We can do this. Right. That's as far as we can take that just now. I do apologize. Evening, Scotty boy. There we are. Try for another. Top man. Hello, Liam. Uh, Scotty for first minister. Well, we've done a couple of videos on the old TikTok about that. Would you play Dr. Cameron on a remake of Dr. Finlay's casebook? Yes, Charlie, I would. <laughs> if you're wanting to remake Dr. Finlay's casebook, I would definitely take that one on. Right, Finley, what's going on here? <laughs> You're live with Scotty's phone in, who's that? <laughs> Do grow up, please, you half wit. There we go. All right, Scotty, big man, dinky do. Yes, indeed. Uh, now, uh, we've got Billy liking the live. Thank you, Billy. That's fabulous. Can everybody follow, guys? Uh, so what do we think with the First Minister's resignation, guys? What is the next step? Um, much of we taken Amy's manager, says GRB. Uh, I've got a bright idea. Get three light bulbs. Ah, Mon the fish. We love that. 
Uh, I can hear them. I can hear them. No bother. Ross, you can hear fine. Uh, all the bacon in Scotland is directly... Oh, sorry. All the bad in Scotland. So it said bacon. All the bad in Scotland is directly caused by Westminster. It's time to get rid of our Tory masters. Yes, but I think it'll be deliberate to put uh, Scotland on the block under the cosh. There we have it. That's kind of life. Create a republic. Max power. That would be the very, very worst thing we could ever do. The second you mention republic, independence is immediately dead in the water, in the long grass. At the moment, it's on life support. All right. Karim, thank you for your beautiful gifts. But a republic, no. If you said you're not taking the crown, you immediately lose 50% of your vote. So don't be silly. We in the UK are delighted by Sturgeon resignation. Well, Charlie, there's nothing to delight in, really. So who have we got here? Uh, thank you, Kareem, for sending the footballs. We love it. Fantastic stuff. And a squirrel and a TikTok. Favourite sport, Scotty Boy. Favourite sport, um, sending the trolls doing the swanee. Uh, OMG, you're on in the evening. Matthew, I am, yes. We're on every Saturday night at nine o'clock sharp. Do a flip. No, no, listen. You're not on some kind of silly... Uh, childish prank, you're on TikTok's top talk show. Uh, keep the UK and the UK. Well, Charlie, you keep the UK and the UK, but let Scotland go from the UK because there's nothing the UK has that's suiting Scotland at the moment. So why would you keep it in the UK? That's what I'm asking. You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? I am it. You all right, mate? I like big bowl. There you are. You're a dumpling head, mate. There we have it. Wonderful stuff. Now, <laughs> but mind you, do you want an independent Scotland when your last guy is actually the kind of people that are going to inherit it? Whoo! I do wonder sometimes. See if we can have another dumpling. Hello, you're live with Scottish Fun in. Hi, Scott, this is Alex. Alex, how are you? I'm very good, Scott. Uh, can I just ask you a question? Of course you can. Well, uh... <coughs> Sorry. It's all right, Alex. You go away and see to yourself and come back on when you're sober. Thank you for my gold awards. Uh, push Hadrian's Wall up to the Orkney Isles. No, no, Charlie. Push Hadrian's Wall down to north of Watford and everything else becomes Scotland. If Scotland left the UK, what would England's main source of income be? Uh, zero, really, because Scotland is their main source of income. So I suppose um, immigrants really coming from, from Albania and... Um, Albania and uh, where else? And the Ukraine. I think that would be their only source of income. Right, so there we have it. Uh, Scotland will always be part of Great Britain. Get over it. Well, I have to say, you like the Scottish phone in? Hi. Hi. I fucking hate luck. You don't like yourself. Oh, well, there we go. Um, now, there's somebody that doesn't know how to speak the language. What a shame, uh, poor thing. Uh, now, uh, what were we saying there? Oh, yes. Um, I was just about to tell you. Oh, that's right. You were saying Scotland will always be part of Great Britain. Get over it. Scotland will. Oh, I'll just hang on. I'll put these idiots off to you guys. There we are. Bye-bye, the idiots. Um, Scotland will always be part of Great Britain because Great Britain is just a land mass. Do you see? 
But Scotland will not always be part of the UK because it's only been part of the UK in the last 313 years. So for the previous 3,000 years, it was independent. Are you with me? Ah, under its own monarch. Fantastic. And we've still got our own monarch, so it's good stuff. So that's what you have. So hunts, yes, it will always be part of the same landmass because that is geology and geography. Tell them to sort their heads out, these foreign people, absolutely half-witted idiots. What they're doing is they're so childish, they don't realize the gift they've got in front of them, the ability for them to communicate. So they think if I say something inappropriate, then that will be funny. And then we'll lose the phone in and get shut down and we'll not have the phone in because that's how tiny these people's minds actually are. Uh, can any unionists give a reasonable reason to stay as part of the UK after the catastrophic Tory rule? User 729, there is no case for the union. There never has been. It was put together by Jiggery Pokery and Skullduggery to suit Queen Anne at the time. Here we are, seven years after the union. So that's it. Fantastic. Sorry. Um, after the union of the crowns. So there we are. So what would that be? 97 years. No more. 104 years after the union of the crowns. Queen Anne was the last of the Stuarts. And she fancied Scotland's wealth. And we had to seriously... We were effectively economically bankrupt because King William had pulled out of the Darian scheme, or the Darian scheme. But Queen uh, Anne managed to bribe the nobles because they'd been fighting each other. Lost all their money. What brand's your cap? Is it Lawrence and Fosser? No, this one is um, Hogs of Fife. So there you are, Hogs of Fife. Very fine piece of country we have. Uh, bring your hat in, Scotty. Make a price. There we are. Fantastic. Can't get through on the phone, Scotty. Well, Rab, I had to shut them up because of the halfwits. But if you're phoning, I shall open the lines up again. So give us a ring, Rab, and uh, we'll see what's what. <laughs> Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Hello, Scotty. Yes, who's that? My name is Walter Jr. Walter Jr. What can I do for you? Open the door. There we are. Walter Jr. Uh, fantastic. Now then. Uh, so try it, Rab. See how you get on. Dinky do. Gordon Brown supports staying in the union. He's Scotland's brain box. No, Charlie B. We listened to him the last time with the vow. And the vow never materialized. Nor did the elderly Scots who had been frightened into losing their pension. So, you know, I'm afraid uh, Gordon is a unionist. And that's no help to Scotland. You're live with Scottish funding. Who's that? That's uh, Rob from Scotty Miss Hartman. Rob, wonderful. I'm so glad you got through. Add one or two wee half wits on. I know I've been watching you all night, man. They're bangers, I think. Absolute bangers. But the problem is, they don't realise that if they just used a tiny bit of ability, they would have the greatest gift that they could ever have, the chance to speak live. I don't think they have any, any, any brain, Scott. I don't think they have, and I'm frightened, because that's what we're going to be leaving Scotland to. Exactly. You know? But anyway, what was coming on here? Uh, I'm on. I might talk about uh, Saturday night television. Yes, very poor. I think it's crap. Ah, of course it is. It. That's why I do the show, Rab. If I'm honest about uh, it, I've had a look uh, at all the radio. I'm, I'm sitting here watching, well, watching yourself, obviously, and watching. I think it's on. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can be able to share it. I'm going to say anyway. STV Star Trek. Right. What a lot of crap that is. Well, we'll not give opinions on specific programs because not everybody will have seen it, but I think Saturday nights changed from the days of 
uh, Dixon of Doc Green, Thunderbirds, uh, Bruce, Bruce Forsyth, Starsky and Hutch, uh, Parkinson interviewing people like David Aye. Niven. You, you, you take on that tel on, on the telly, Scott. You man, you take over. Oh, listen, I know we clean up, but your telly bosses can't see it. I actually phoned a guy who was starting a new television station once, and he said, I don't see how a London-based station could benefit from a Scottish phone-in. And I okay. tried to explain to him that it's not a Scottish phone-in. I just happen to be a Scot. And, of course, my show has worked all over the UK. A hundred percent, mate, I You know? I mean, it was massive he, 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 in he, he, Manchester. He, he, smashed, he, he smashed it on radio, Scotty. Yes. And we do it, we do it on telly as well. You know? He, 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 he put a, a hang on of many years ago, uh, an audience with Scotty McClure. Yes. He smashed that as well. We smashed that as well. And I know, I mean, we'd get lots of complaints about my looks because I'm no oil painting, as they say about the oh, Mona Lisa. No, 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 you look lovely. You know, you you're very kind, Rab, you're very kind. <laughs> I see myself, Scott. Oh, you're very <laughs> kind, Rab. Bless you. I'll need to get you a wee appointment with the optician. Brilliant. No, I think that um, we would definitely clean up because I'll tell you what I'd do, Rab. I'd do what I'm doing right now and I would add and in the phones. And you're doing it. Brilliant. You know, we'd do the phones, we'd do the texts, we'd do letters, we'd rip stuff up we didn't like in front of the people. You yeah. see? And we'd have a few pranks as well for a laugh. <coughs> I, I don't know why all, all these we fucking oh, I, I, didn't, ah! I didn't mean to swear that. Sorry. Using Sorry. the word we in my show. <laughs> I, I apologise for that. I am very sorry. Not at all. I, I, I don't know why the, the, all these wee idiots keep on phoning you up and just making stupid wee noises. Well, I think yeah. they're maybe not being used to a phone in. They don't realise how big this is. And they don't realise uh, that they're achieving nothing by doing that. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, nothing for them, nothing for any of us. Just wasting time and space. Oh, 100% that. You know, but they, they, could, like they, could, they could be on having a chat. Ah, yes, a, a channel. I thought it was all about Scotty. Ah, uh, that's it. So you, you keep up the good work, my man. Well, I you too. Hope, hope to see you on the telly soon. We'll get on the telly. We'll give them a show they can't refuse. <laughs> you get back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do? Take care, man. See take you. Care, my man, right? See you, lad. You take care, Rab. Bless you. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> bye, la. There we are. That's our Rab. Now, he's quite right. I mean, these wee dafties wasting time, you know, because they can't come up with an actual conversation, you know. Uh, I don't really know how their brain's working. Very silly. Anyway, especially when you get a gift like this, Lee Bandoni has joined us, uh, the most generous man in the world, and he has now given me I think it looks like a hundred aliens. Now, talking of which, uh, have you heard uh, all the things that are getting shot down? Scotland's wealth is now stolen from the rotten Tories. It's still stolen from the rotten Tories. I think you mean by the rotten Tories. Would that be booby? There you go. Uh, I'd rather be a lifer than a fifer. That's a bit harsh. Uh, do you think Scotland could survive in the sale of tea cakes, if they all runs out, uh, Hans, if they all runs out tomorrow, Scotland would survive, because it's got the gas, it's got the water, it's got coal, right? Never mind all this green stuff. Do you know what I mean? Scotland are survivors. They've got the um, wind and wave power. So there you have it. So it's all there, uh, and the oil's really a bonus. How are you, Scotty? Think you do? Hello from Cornwall. Paul, we love you in Cornwall. Paul, am I not right in thinking the Cornish people want independence? Lee Bandoni, what are you doing, you beautiful, generous man? 
sending gift after gift after gift after gift. I, I live next to Addingston, so there we have it. Excellent GRB, I know it well. I used to run your radio station. Scotland could well and truly stand on its own. Uh, you know, look at even smaller independent countries. Of course, DJ Bobby, we know that. So do Westminster. Lee, thank you. Let's see if this is a sensible person. Hello, you're live on Scottish phone, eh? Hello, Scottie, this is Ryan. Hello, Ryan. What can I do for you? My father used to sing me a song. Can I sing it for you? It's not copyright. What's what? My, my father, he used to sing me a song. Can I sing it for you right now? It's very no, no, no. Listen, you're absolutely fine. I'm not saying just in case it's copyright. Hello, you're live on Scottie's phone. Then. Who's that? Uh, hi, all right. Have you ever watched The Walking Dead? Uh, I haven't actually, no. Uh, there we are. I've seen one or two people that resembled them. Uh, what do we got here? Torquay is nice. We love it. A proud one, Scotty. Fantastic. Scotty, what's your opinion on the... And it doesn't say whose resignation. So we're not bothered with that. There we are. That's better. Uh, there we are. Uh, so, Sean, you need to speak properly. Give people their title. Tweet waterproof1495. Excellent hat. Very nice. Just got the number one gift to Lee Bander there. How very kind of you. To still do Manchester radio at night. I don't use a 124. I wish I did. I got replaced by Jeremy Kyle. Yes, remember Jeremy. So there you have it. Fantastic. Now, Sorry, Scotty, that's okay, GRB, but, you know, we we use proper terminology. We don't belittle people who have given nine years or, in fact, a lifetime of service to our country. Incidentally, just to make it clear, if you are Scottish, regardless of your politics, you are also British because you're on the landmass of Great Britain. Have I made myself quite clear? Right, thank you. And uh, there we go, no problem at all. Get following, guys, as soon as you can. Evening, Scotty. I'm just back from vacation. Been missing the show. Lee, lovely to have you back. Lee, find a way to send me um, that stuff through. And I'll pop that out for you. Scotland's resources keep the rich getting even richer while everyone else gets poorer. DJ Bobby, it was ever the case. You know what I mean? We had this and then it got a bit better for a while. And now it's on the slide again. Evening Scotty, hope's all well from Motherwell. Marty, how lovely to have you with us from Motherwell. Think you do. Keep them coming. I was in a train yesterday. And it was heading for Motherwell. I thought, I think I'll just stay on and go and see all my pals. So there we have it. Unionists really need to wake up. Independence isn't about parties or MPs. DJ Bobby, you are a man of truth. You speak verity. And you're 100% correct. That is the whole thing. I say to you. Now, what have we got here? Um, Bazanans is talking to somebody. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, I'm always so sad, says Kareem. Where does the time go? Uh, Ryan, Ryan, what are you telling us that for? Uh, I think we'll just get rid of Ryan. That's the kind of person that just doesn't belong on here. Uh, so that's the end of Ryan. A uh, city what are we doing with him? There he goes. Silly nonsense. Uh, and the false Kareem. Silly nonsense. Gone. And there we are. That's the false Kareem away. I think that's us tidied that up. Uh, we're back to... Yes, we're back to all that. There's Ryan gone. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty. What's the significance of the thistle? The thistle, Chris. The thistle became the emblem of Scotland because 
Surprise, surprise being Scotland. The king was about to go into battle. And um, no, that's right. Yes, the king was about to go into battle. And the king and his other soldiers crept up on them or on him with their bare feet. And they stood on a thistle and let out a load of yells and uh, they were sussed and they got done in for it. So the thistle became the uh, emblem of Scotland because it had saved the King of Scotland. Uh, there we have it. No, but DJ Bobby, that's a very clever thing to say. It was nice to speak to Scotty and you, Rab. It's always lovely to speak to you. OMG, says Linda. I thought you had died. Wait till I check, Linda. No, apparently not. What about that? You never hear much about the Loch Ness Monster. Well, I think, uh, you know, you only get the odd sighting. I used to phone you on a Sunday night, says Linda. Indeed, your nostrils are breathtaking. Thank you, Ralph. Very good. Noses run in our family, you see. Brexit means Brexit, son. HFO, very sadly it does. And the trouble it's caused. I, I predicted it six years ago, so nobody can say I didn't say my bit. And I got poo-pooed by the idiots. I said Brexit will lead to economic annihilation and uh, political fragmentation. Was I right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So there you have it. I had it right. Uh, what have we got here, dinky do? Now then. Hello, King. Hello, Sedge. Dinky do. Thank you for your gifts. Uh, my mum's from Hoik, if you know it. Hoik, yes. The Hoik common writing. If you have a look down at my TikTok videos, look for black and white, old black and white pictures. And one of them is the Main Street Hoik, and I sent it, I put it up on TikTok on Common Riding Saturday. All right? And you'll see it wonderful with that great big baronial. Is it the town hall, the big tower? And then you've got the horse. Hoik. Fantastic. Of course we know it. Hoik knitwear. What's your pronouns? Well, Jack, we never ever do stuff like that on here because we don't label anybody. We have a free world. So there are no pronouns. There's no race. There's no creed. There's no color. You don't need to worry about gender. You don't need to worry about your sexual orientation and your proclivities because we're only interested in a handle, a name, a first name. So we would never do pronouns or any of that stuff because it's divisive, you see. Are you on the whiskey after sturgeon? Uh, Jacob, you know I don't bother with the drink. So there you go. Good evening, Scotty from Falkirk. What did Nicola do? Well, I, I mean, she just governed the country very well for nine years. Uh, I was trying to cross the road the other day. And a wee woman, something. That's great. Thank you, Sir Scott. No problem, Scott. Love to your mum from Hoyk. Why do unionists believe being part of one corrupt union is best for them? Beyond me. Well, DJ Bobby, you speak verity and such sense. There we have it. That's what it's all about. Scotty, I can't hear the colours. So Scottish guys, we know Scottish guys, but we don't know what's doing it and we don't know how to fix it. So there we are. With a couple of the colours, it's just as well because they were a disgrace to themselves. Big hugs, says Jeff. We are Scotland, says Big Lloyd. Yes, we are. But we also are, uh, you know, very friendly with England and with Wales and with Northern Ireland, and with Ireland, and with every other country. You see, the Scot can go places that the poor old English person is despised because of history. Because the Scots sort of get it right. Uh, you know, interesting stuff. So there you are, Chris. How about that? There's James saying, hi, Scotty, big fan. Hi, James. 
Dinky do, I say to you, hope over fear, oh rap always. And there's AJ Greenway, hardy lad, hardy lad, lovely to have you with us. Guys, have we all followed me on the uh, TikTok? And uh, have we all subscribed on the YouTube? I need to get uh, some more YouTube subscribers. Let me just check. Um, no then. Let me just check here. What's happening? Yes, I need half a dozen new subscribers on the YouTube channel. Can you manage to do that? There are, so if you haven't subscribed, get subscribing. And that would be just amazing. Now, there we are. How can we hear the callers, guys? There must be a way around this. I'm determined to see if I can get you. Let's have a look here. No, I seem to have exactly the right one, guys. Everything seems to be fine on the old YouTube Yeah, I think, I think, I'm just going to do one more, uh, see if we can, uh, audio, yeah. You should be able to hear. I don't understand. But you can hear on TikTok and you can hear me. So why can you not hear the colors? I wonder. Is there anything else we can do? I'm going to try something else. Uh, and see if we can. And then we'll do a wee experiment, guys, okay? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Right, that seems to be that. That's the nearest I can get. Give us a wee call, guys. And uh, we'll see if we get somebody else, see if we can hear. Uh, Favourite Churchill quote, we will never surrender. Oh, we've surrendered a few times since then. We surrendered to Brexit. Those magnificent men and their flying machines. Yes, indeed. Do you think we'll see a united Ireland anytime soon? I suspect we will. I spoke to somebody very senior, and they said just that. You're live with Scottish Phone in. Who's that? Hi, it's Rab again. Oh, Rab, good. Stay on for a minute, Rab. It's Hi, pardon me. Yeah, you're always getting asked to stay on, aren't you? I know. Not much, not much going on for me. We love you. Now, <laughs> guys, can you hear Rab? That's uh, the thing. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? There we are. Can we hear Rab? And let me know if you can hear Rab on the YouTube, guys. <coughs> Say a wee bit more, Rab. Eh? Say a wee bit more for me. Anything at all, just tell everybody how much you're enjoying the show. Uh, I, I have enjoyed Scotty McClure's show very, very much. Oh. Thank God I'm alive. Thank <laughs> God you're alive, my boy. Right, they can't hear you, but thank you so much for the call. Right, Scott, you take care, big man. And you, top man. Thanks, Rab. Hey. <laughs> see you, bud. There, there he goes. That's a Rab. Uh, let me che check. If there's any more settings I can do, guys. Uh huh. Audio and video. No. So that didn't work. That didn't actually help anymore. 
We will need to sort it at some point, I see. Right, guys, uh, can I ask? Can I ask? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm I'm right into settings here. Right. Uh, somebody else give me a call and see if we can do it this way. All right. I'm right into things here. Right. Somebody give me a call and uh, we'll take the call. Hello, you're live with Scottish Fun in. Who's that? Oh, you're live with Scottish Fun in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Christine. I was just doing a test. Oh, you're an absolute angel. Guys, can we hear Christine? Just bear with me, Christine. Don't dash yeah, off. Do. There we are. Uh, guys, can you hear Christine at the moment? Uh, somebody tell me. So there we are. Neil can't hear the phone ringing, and he couldn't hear Rab. Uh, so there we are. No, Neil, you can't hear what's going on. Christine, have a wee chat. Okay, thank you for that information about the festival. That's the thing. Is that a true story you told me? Yeah, I would never tell you any rubbish, Christine. Okay. Love you lots. <laughs> right, that thank night, you. Darling. Thank you, dear. <laughs> do, you think, do you think it's working? Yeah, hey, well, I hope so. We're going to see if we'll get some feedback. Thank you for oh. your wonderful call. All right. Night, night. Night, night, darling. Thank you, do. Thank you, do. What an angel. Guys, we're going to have to say night, night to the TikTokers. I love you. Oh, there we go. 